Hi, welcome to another Jim's Radio Check. Today I want to show you a, a couple of pocket size radios I got in my collection. The one on the left being the Prunus AM FM DSP radio receiver. It's the J125. The one on the right is the Ebright Pocket Radio. Uh, both of these radios are pretty small. I'm going to compare them to the V115. So yeah, you can see they're quite a bit smaller than the Tividio 115. Okay, the Ebright radio, here's the box. FMAM reception, easy to operate, portable design, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, built-in speaker, and alarm clock. Frequency range 87.5 to 108. On AM 520 to 1710, takes AAA batteries, as so does the other one. Oh, and there's your size right there. So here's the... Uh, Here's the box for the Prunus J125. A little bit bigger of a box. Both made in China, of course. All right. Let's start out with this uh, with this Ebright radio. You have your display screen, tuning up and down. You got your mode, your memories. A FM AM on and off on the top headphone jack and then you have an antenna here that's quite short it's probably no more than eight inches maybe something like that on the back you have a belt clip and then there's the battery compartment I got uh, two AAA batteries in there both radios take the same now the uh the Prunus 125 the antenna is the is your strap your carrying strap so it doesn't have uh an actual pull out antenna I saw Tadabert review it the updated version it replaced that strap with an, a pull out antenna on the right side it's it's updated a little bit I have the older version Let's uh, take a look at this Prunus. Tuning up and down. Got your memory there. Got presets, AM, FM, switch. And on the side here, you got, uh, I think this side's the volume, yeah, up and down. Then you got uh, this switch on the side. It's a stereo or a, a lock switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I haven't tried it because I'm not a fan of headphones. They hurt my uh, ears, so I really don't use them. But uh, you have to have the headphones in to get stereo, whereas the other one is not stereo. And this one on the right, the Prunus, is a DSP radio. Uh, both have a display. Now, as far as the display goes, I like the one... I like the Prunus a little bit better. It's it's a guy. It's got a lot more visibility than uh, than the other one. This this Ebright has uh, the numbers are kind of blue, whereas there there's an orange background on the Prunus. Let's uh, turn them on for a second. I want to compare. We'll tr we'll, we'll try uh, AM first. You got your on and off switch on the top. Hold it in for a second. Okay, let's uh, let's go over to AM, and we'll go down to 560. That's a uh, WIND radio. It's coming in pretty good. 
Now I want to go up to uh, 580. 580 comes out of Champaign Urbana. It's about 140 miles from here. So it's picking it up okay. Alright, let's try the same thing on the on this one. Okay, same thing, the on and off switches on the top. Alright, let's go to AM. And let's see where's the volume on this one's on the right. It only goes to 38 for the volume, it's not really too loud. Okay, here's 560. It also comes in pretty good. Let's try 580. Okay, this radio barely gets it in. Let's go back to the other one real quick and try it. Now that one it's coming in okay. So it appears that the medium wave is actually better on this prunus. Let's try one more thing on medium wave. Let's go up to about let's see. It will try 750. I think that's in uh, Piatone, Illinois. I could be wrong. It could be Portage, Indiana. It's one of the two. It's coming in okay. All right, let's turn this one off. Try this one. Okay, want to go to seven fifty. Yeah, that one's barely got it coming in. Again, the prunus was better. So let's try, uh, I'll tell you what, let's try doing FM real quick. We'll try the college station, see if I could get it in. I got the antenna pulled out, so we'll go over to FM. relationships and friendships and so much more so Paul you stick and stay with us 90.1 coming in pretty good let's try this Prunus radio FM Again, with FM, I would say this Prunus has the edge. Uh, the Prunus, I want to say, was approximately $20. Maybe it was a little less. And this one here, I think I got for 8 bucks. 
Now they all, they both have the same features pretty much, alarm clock, memory, AM, FM, although the Prunus has stereo if you plug in the headphones where the other radio don't. Uh, both great pocket radios if you just want to toss something in your pocket, you're going out for a walk or something. Uh, but I would definitely have to give the edge to the Prunus 125. And like I said earlier in the video, they did come out with an updated version of it. So it, you don't have to rely on that strap for the FM. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show you guys these two radios. And uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. 73s will catch you guys later.